Hello, Virgo viewers. I'm going to be looking into your situation. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, what they're wanting, any actions they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks, two or three weeks or so. So let's just take a look and see what's going on with your love life. What is the current story? What is going on with you regarding love right now? What do you need to know about your love life? I do feel new energy. So somebody new might be coming in. You might have just met somebody new. You might have um, renewed love. I think I got that in the last Virgo reading. I was getting that maybe somebody was... It was either new love or it was renewed love. Like somebody was, you know, trying to do better. It was like a new start with somebody that from your past, basically. So let's see what's going on. What's the energy right now for Virgos? Seven of Pentacles, the World, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Wands. Yeah, it looks like you're wrapping something up. Hmm. Six of Wands and Three of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Tower. The Tower is good, though. It's not, it's not a bad thing. It just means big life changes, basically. So if you just got out of an abusive situation, like an abusive relationship or just a toxic situation or maybe you had an ex come back around and you know you decided you know what this is toxic I don't want to do this again or you gave them a second chance and they just kind of showed you that they hadn't really changed it's saying that was divinely orchestrated there was there was some higher purpose for that because with the seven of pentacles in the world here it's like there's something that you really bled for that you worked really hard for I think there's, I think it's probably a relationship that you, that you were bleeding for. I mean, it could be like a job that you put a lot of effort into and you weren't appreciated by your coworkers and you finally decided to leave that job and now you have this newfound freedom and this newfound fresh start. For most of you, I think it's probably a relationship. It's basically just this energy of there was something that was holding you back. There was something that was causing you pain something you were fighting for just some kind of battle that you were going that you were struggling with that was um kind of just keeping you tied down and keeping you in pain and keeping you small basically it was keeping you from your true potential and that situation with the world here it's come to a wrap it's you've completed a cycle you've learned whatever it is that you needed to learn from that and with the ten of swords here it's it's like there's this pain but it's like you're you're at the it's like the, the the final battle, you know? It's it's like there's not really a whole lot more pain coming up. It it feels like you just like enough is enough. You know, it's it's the darkness just right before the dawn. You you've finally gotten to that point where the light is coming in. Where you just you're not struggling. I mean, look at her. She looks sad. But she looks peaceful too. It's like it's it's like that struggle is over. She's not bleeding. She's not fighting for the, whatever the situation is anymore. Whether it's a job or whether it was a lover or an ex that came back around, he or she is not fighting for this situation anymore. They they feel some sense of relief in this, you know, knowing that this is coming to an end. That it's just come to an end, or it's coming to an end now, or needs to come to an end. They feel some type of, you feel some type of closure or relief that that this is that situation has come to an end like you're you're starting to see the bigger picture you're starting to be glad that you didn't stay in that energy and because of that because of this cycle closing you have this you have this newfound sense of freedom coming in i feel with the six of wands here this is public recognition this is success so if you're doing anything in the spotlight now this could be political could be music, could be acting, um, could be, um, you know, public speech, just any type of public recognition, could be like a YouTube channel, anything like that. You know, you're in your power, you're coming into your power more because this cycle has completed and you have that energy and space freed up in your life now, or is coming in soon where you're going to be cutting, that you're, you're, could be thinking about this right now and realizing you need to cut someone or some situation out and then once you do it's telling you you know that energy is going to be freed up for yourself 
for your career, for your, your hobbies, your goals, it's, it's going to make you happy in the long run, um, to just say enough is enough and, and let that battle go and just, you know, leave that in the past if it's, if it's just a constant merry-go-round cycle. But yeah, you have the six of wands, so public recognition, public success, um, you know, promotion, just shining bright, just, just confidence, just newfound confidence, success, celebration, happiness, going out with friends, um, being connected to the people you love. Uh, this is, this is like, this could be something that actually happens, like somebody notices you or you get some kind of promotion or something and you, you have a, a reason to celebrate, like you have a reason to go out drinking or you have something to not necessarily go out drinking but like drink at home or whatever just something where it's like you're opening the expensive bottle of champagne you know it's that kind of energy where there's something to celebrate here for some of you this could be creative projects where maybe you've been kind of going along with what other people want with creative projects and now you're standing on your own and you're bringing your own ideas to the table and that's really going to start paying off for you with the Hierophant here, you know, I always intuitively read, the, read these cards, so it always means something different in each reading. In this particular reading, the way I'm looking at it is I, I think the Hierophant is representing your guides. I think this tower moment, this chaos, whatever it was, this, this painful ending that put you in the Ten of Swords, this, whether it was a job or a career loss, or it was people maybe even bullying you or challenging you to stand on your own two feet and stand up for your ideals or, you know, an abusive relationship or a toxic relationship or ex coming back around and you just realizing it was always going to be the same crap with them and moving on, moving on from it. You know, it felt chaotic at the time. It felt painful. It felt hopeless. It felt like the rug was pulled out from underneath your feet. But I think your guides are saying that they did that, that they needed to shake things up for you. They needed that chaos to get you to move whether it's actually like moving to a new physical location or it's just a change in mental state where it's like you kind of are forced to stand on your own and reclaim your power, you know, it, it's almost like tough love. Like maybe your guides try to do it to the gentle way and it wasn't working. So your spirit guides came in and, and, you know, gave you the tough love, which was the tower that just shook everything up and forced you to reevaluate your life and to to make some much needed changes so that's kind of where you're at or where you're coming into you might not have made this change yet maybe you're you're still entertaining this ex or this past person or whatever it might be um but it's like your guides are kind of pushing it to whatever that energy is your guides are pushing you out of it basically they're trying to push you out of it at least okay so let's see See if there's anything going on with new love. I think you're going to go through a period where you're just kind of focused on yourself because, like I said, you're really coming into your power right now. But let's see. Is there a new person? Is there anything? So, okay. So we have we have the first spread, which is you leaving behind a toxic situation, be it a toxic job or a toxic person, toxic family members, whatever it was. Like the tower came in to just shake everything up for you. Um, to get you to finally move because you were so stagnant you weren't you know what I mean like you weren't fully on your path you were so stagnant you were going in circles and so the tower really just had to come in to push you to finally move and finally make these important life changes but so let's see um so let's say that you're because again everyone's going to be different some of you are already making these life changes some of you are still struggling to let go of this other person but you're starting to come into this energy where you're it's going to be different for everybody, you know, how, how quickly you're letting go of that, that energy and how quickly you're getting into that tower energy and, and redoing your life, basically. But but let's see. Um, okay, so you, you have the public recognition and success coming in. You have this, this once you clear the, all that crap away, you have this, this newfound confidence and strength and energy um, and success and celebration, just focusing on yourself more um, and just, you know, finally reaching your goals so let's see is there new love coming in like once let's say let's just say for those of you when this person when when the virgos that are watching this get to that point where there's public recognition and everything's just going great what can you tell me what can you tell me about their love life what is that what's that energy like what does that look like right now what's the love situation 
the moon, ten of pentacles. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, king of cups. I like him. Six of pentacles, five of wands, five of pentacles, four of swords. Ooh. Hierophant and the devil. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> so I do sense two energies here. I think that there's a warning. I do think that you're going to end up meeting somebody new. I think you're going to end up meeting a king of cups. But I don't think they're going to be your usual type. I almost feel like they're going to have their shit together so much that you're going to be like, okay, what's the catch? Like, why is this person so emotionally open and stable like why like what what's going on <laughs> and and so you're going to be caught in this love triangle when you're going to where you're going to have to choose between the king of cups and the ex because i think that that toxic energy i got in the first spread i think it's going to come back around um and again this could be don't get caught up on don't get caught up on gender because it could be male male it could be female female it could be male female um, if you're a man watching this, this could be, um, if you're gay, this could be another man coming in for you. Or if you're straight, this could be, um, you know, this could be your queen of cups. It could be, you know, just don't get caught up on gender. It's just how the car, it's just, um, how I word things, I guess. But, but you know what your story is, you know what I mean? You know which energy you're in. But anyway, basically, basically I do see, I see you going through a phase where you're going to be focusing on yourself a lot and you're going to be successful. It's not going to be like before where it's just this constant like running uphill battle. It, it's going to be like something good is going to happen with your career or um, finding a new job and maybe you're leaving, a, maybe you're being true to yourself and leaving a toxic job and you're finding a new job that's going to be a much better match for your personality. Um, there's some there's just some type of public recognition and success or if you're like protesting or something like that it's like your your voice is going to be heard whatever your message is it's going to be heard you know you're in this energy where you're powerful and people really respect you people listen to you you're in the public eye um people care about what you have to say if you're making speeches or you're whatever it is you're doing you're, you're really getting into this phase where you're really really being recognized by the public so I do, um, and you have this, like, this mystery, this charm about you with the moon card here, you know, looking at the Ten of Pentacles, it's like you're there with success, with financial success, career, hobbies, passions, the things that you've been working towards, it's, it's like I said, it's like, it's not, it's not an uphill struggle anymore so much, it's like you're gonna get that promotion or you're gonna get um you're gonna there's gonna be some cause for celebration some good news coming in i feel regarding career or finances or hobbies for you you know because ten of pentacles it's like look how abundant she is it's like wealth abundance and we have it more abundance here the six of pentacles this is like harmony um abundance charity it's it's somebody who's just look at her she's just calm and wealthy and generous too you know it's like this equal give and take here probably with the king of cups that's coming in um it's, it's it's like so you've reached that goal you know and you're using your intuition to reach that goal you're staying above the um the drama and the pain and all of that you're trying to stay above above and tune into your intuition and um you know, be honest with yourself about red flags when it comes to people, when it comes to jobs, you're, you're starting to be honest with yourself about the red flags and the green flags and staying true to your heart and just, you know, following your intuition more and, and being led to this success and this abundance, basically. And I think when that happens, you know, you're going to be even more desirable to to um potential suitors and you do have this king of cups coming in or this queen of cups however it plays out for you you do have i think they might be financially stable too it's almost like this give and take in this relationship it's almost like they would never have you pay for things it's like you guys would go dutch or like they would pay for things it's kind of like they're just more stable i almost feel like part of you might sabotage it though because they're so stable and they're so giving and they really have it together and it's almost like you might question it you know when this king of cups come in you might almost wonder 
Like, do they want something from me? Like, why are they so stable? Why are they so kind? Why are they just genuinely trying to get to know me? You know, why are they trying to take me on dates? Like, are they trying to get some? Are they trying to get my money? Like, what do they want from me? You know what I mean? It's almost like you might overthink it and kind of get scared because it won't really be what you're used to. This person is going to be much more stable and much more mature than men or women you've dated in the past. They're going to really have it together. Um, they're probably financially stable. Not all of them, but the majority, I feel that they probably are financially stable. They might like own their own company or own their own business or... Um, they're just motivated. They're self-motivated. They're passionate about what they do. You know, this wouldn't be somebody who just... This would be like a leader type. This would be somebody... I, I almost feel like a manager or like some type of... It's like a leader type energy. I guess it's it's possible. They're, they're not literally a manager or a store owner or, 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 you know, whatever. But I do feel that energy for most of them. Like they have people that look up to them. You know, they have this very stable energy. Hmm. And they are emotionally open. You know, they do want love. But I just, I still, I just feel you questioning it. I feel like they're just going to be so, it's almost like a too good to be true scenario. You're going to, you're going to think about it and you're going to be like, okay, what do they, what do they want from me? Like, why? why me <laughs> you know but they're genuine they do feel like they have a good energy to them i feel like the ex is going to come back around though whatever whatever toxic energy that is from the first read i feel like it's going to try to come back around even though that cycle is closed they're going to feel that you're moving on whether you actually post it or you're actually with somebody else or they just feel it they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna know one way or another whether it's psychically or actually knowing in the physical realm they're going to kind of figure out that there's another man or woman in your life and they're going to feel that energy and they're going to want to come back around but it's almost like you're just it's almost like you're just put right back into that same old energy though the five of wands it's like back to not talking back to ghosting back to arguments back to miscommunication back to the drama back to the heartbreak you know if you go back with that person it's like they're not going to be ready to love you and they're probably, they might not ever be ready to love you, but they're going to feel that there's somebody else. They're going to feel or they're going to see on social media that there's somebody else in the picture and they're going to get super jealous and they're going to try to pull you back in and they might, you know, say all the right things to pull you back in because they don't want to lose you, but they're not actually ready and they're not actually changing. They're just saying whatever they need to say because they don't want you to date somebody else. That's all that's going on there. And there's this warning here. If you go back to this five of wands, you have the six of pentacles. You have stability and love here with this king of cups. But when the ex comes back around, if you want to go back. So again, two different men or two different women. And if you go back to the five of wands energy, the, the miscommunication, the arguments, the silence, all this crap with the ex, you're going to be in the five of pentacles energy again. You're going to be in its poverty, its anxiety, its loneliness, its isolation, its you know, losing your focus on your finances and your stability that you were finally being able to focus on. It's losing yourself to this relationship in a really negative way and going back to a phase of, of isolation and loneliness and heartbreak and just back to square one and losing all this ton of pentacles energy. It's like you have all this abundance coming in all areas of your life, finances, work, hobbies, love, you have abundance that you've been manifesting over the, the months or the years even. You, all these seeds that you've been planting com finally coming to fruition. Um, the question is, though, are, when all this abundance comes in at once, are you going to accept it or are you going to sabotage it and go back to the familiar? If you do go back to the familiar, it's going to be the same crap. It's going to be this isolation and pain. You know, in the, the Hierophant, I, I see that as like traditions in this particular spread where it's going to be... Um, just stagnant energy basically with the devil it's like past addictions past past energy you you get into this new energy and it's like if you go back then you're right back in this past energy this stagnant energy this going around in circles this constantly running uphill you know what i mean so you have to be really careful that you don't allow this this negative toxic unwanted energy back into your life that you continue to step out of your comfort zone and when the abundance comes in you accept it, you embrace it, you welcome it into your life and don't sabotage it. So that's where we're at now. 
let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe to me. Thank you.